Welcome to chapter one of three weeks I recently spent exploring Scotland for photography. These videos are a, a little vignette into my trip, a bit of the sort of creative process, and also just a personal reminder to myself of the atmosphere and the feeling of being in the places that I visited. I've included a wide range of images made on the trip, and it should be noted that this trip was not just about exploring place, it was also about exploring aesthetic and conceptual direction for a new photography project. I went into the trip with little to no expectation of the images that I might make, and while some of them aren't very successful, I'm definitely delighted with a few of the images that I made. At the end of each chapter video, I'll include a little print critique uh, slash image review, uh, just of a few of my favorite images from each area.
doesn't look like the fog is going to break through. It's just just on the edge of the woods. Um, you never know. A little gust of wind could bring it in, but uh, otherwise, just focusing on some of the intimate scenes here, following this cool little river. One of the most important steps in the creative process of photography is printing your images. So today I've printed uh, 14 of my favorite images from the trip, and in each chapter video I'll be reviewing uh, a selection of those images. For chapter 1, Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park, uh, I've printed 4 images. So got the overhead set up, let's go ahead jump in and do a bit of a critique. So here is the first image and it's obviously this beautiful stand of Scots pine. Um, lovely low-lying fog in the foreground, a few smaller trees and bushes. And what I think makes this particular image successful is the fact that I waited that extra half an hour after sunrise. Um, I did try it before sunrise, but there wasn't quite enough separation between this main subject and the background. I do think this makes a successful print, however there's probably a bit of editing that I would do uh, in order to enhance some of the tonalities. I think some of this low-lying fog could be enhanced even more and made brighter. Um, and I would like to experiment on a different paper stock, perhaps something a little bit more matte. I think there's plenty of detail and texture and Using something a bit more matte, I think, might bring out some of that uh, that morning misty mood a little bit better. And I do notice that there's a few little, just here, uh, a few details that are creeping in on the edge. So overall, I think it's a successful image, but there are a few small little tweaks that I would make. Let's have a look at the next one. Here again we've got another grouping of Scots Pine, and this was one of uh, three from a triptych that I did, and to be quite honest, on its own I don't think it works. It's a beautiful moody shot, it's got a lot of atmosphere, but I think it was stronger as part of the set. So I'm interested to see a, a smaller version of this, this is a 10x10. Uh, inch image. I think a smaller version printed at maybe 7x7 seven seven and then laid out as a triptych might be might be stronger. And again, I'm not 100% sold on this paper stock. I think something with a bit more texture. Um, this for me is just a little bit too bright and dramatic. I think I would like to bring the highlights down and uh, yeah, accentuate that sort of dark, moody tone. I'll just uh, tilt the paper, there we go, you can see without the glare. Beautiful atmosphere and fog, but again, I think as a triptych, it'll be stronger overall. Moving on to a few scenes with water. I'm really, really happy with the way this image turned out. Um, there's a good sense of balance and repetition throughout the image. So, for instance, in the waterfall, there's three separate streams, and uh, even these sort of harsher borders fall quite gracefully on the thirds. Again, in the trees, there's probably three very dominant uh, figures, 
And so that sense of repetition uh, throughout the image gives it a nice flow. The way that this tree is arched over leads your eye in and through the image. And again, these all these trees sort of point you towards the waterfall and all the sort of wonderful texture going on. One of the other elements that I was very keen on uh, including in the images I took in these river systems were some of the early uh, autumn leaves that were falling. So you have a nice oak leaf just here, and then there's a scattering of birch happening on the left-hand side. There's one just there. Um, so it's, it's those small details that I really enjoy in images like this. Um, and for that reason, I think it might make for a nice larger print. Right, moving on to the last image, and probably my favorite from the set. And again, it's because it includes those wonderful, wonderful falling, fallen uh, oak leaves. So one of the reasons I love this image is the contrast between the static elements and elements of movement. So obviously there's the flowing river and that's carving out all of these rocks. But there's also a sense of movement of time with the falling leaves and the fallen limb. It gives a sense that you know, these leaves have fallen from this dead branch. Um, and yeah, I think overall it makes for a very visually compelling image. The color combination between uh, the greens, the blues, the oranges, I think it works nicely. The light that I captured the image in was this beautiful, soft, uh, overcast light, and that works as well. And then placement of that was absolutely critical for me, um, not having overlap between these little uh, twig shapes and the edge of that rock. And it just, just, just worked out. I think I've got enough uh, flow from the corners that lead you through. There's almost a very uh, harsh S shape, very steep S that leads you through the image. And yeah, overall, I think it, it just works. <laughs> I mean, for me anyway. Uh, let me know what you think of this particular image down in the comments. I think it's got that sort of uh, large format 8x10 look. Um, obviously, I've shot 4x5. Um, and that's something that I've re I really enjoy doing. So my eye kind of looks for those images uh, when I'm out shooting. But yeah, I think this is probably the most successful print and successful image of the bunch. Um, again, this one also successful. I would like to see this one bigger. Um, I'd like to see this one smaller and as it's triptych. So this is probably the least successful of the four, but I think there's potential here. With a few tweaks and edits, um, there might be something that is worth printing. So I hope you enjoyed this little image review um, and maybe you got something out of it. Let me know in the comments below which of the four uh, is your favorite or maybe there's one that I didn't print that you think might be worth giving a go. This is obviously just chapter one of my Scotland trip. So if you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see uh, some more videos in the future, then please do consider subscribing. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.